Thank you, Mr. Buck. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Attorney General, I'd like to direct your attention to the easel behind me. Uh, the first painting is a Claude Monet. I'm sorry, I can't, I can't read any of the words. Uh, you don't need to. Okay. You just need to look at this great painting right here. It's a very here. beautiful painting. It is beautiful, and uh, it is listed at Christie's for $700,000. Now, Claude Monet was uh, the founder of the Impressionist uh, movement, something I didn't know until I researched it. Um, the second painting is a Degas, it, uh, another world-renowned artist, and this painting sold for $500,000. The third painting, you may recognize this name, is a Hunter Biden. <laughs> I, I, don't, painting, I don't recognize the painting. The Hunter Biden painting sold for $500,000 also. Now, you may think... That's such an exclusive, um, that, that when Hunter Biden is in such exclusive company, that he would have a background, you know, artistic training, for example. Um, but you would be wrong if you thought that. And you might think that he had some sort of apprenticeship with a world-renowned artist, but you would be wrong again if you thought that. Or perhaps that he has been selling his works for years, and again, unfortunately, you would be wrong. It turns out that in 2019, Hunter Biden couldn't find a gallery to list his art. And what happened in 2020 that changed all that? His dad became president of the United States. Now a single piece of art from Hunter Biden sells for more than the average American home. This art arrangement is so suspicious that the Obama administration ethics czar, Walter Schaub, tweeted on July 10th of this year, Hunter Biden should cancel this art sale because he knows the prices are based on his dad's job. Shame on POTUS if he doesn't ask Hunter to stop. By the way, Mr. Attorney General, this is the same Hunter Biden who's being investigated by your department and the IRS for tax fraud. Selling fakes or selling or having a fake skill set is nothing new to Hunter Biden. When his dad was vice president, Hunter Biden received $50,000 a month from a Ukrainian oligarch to sit on a board of an energy company. What was Hunter Biden's background in energy? Nada, nothing, zilch. Soon after he received his dad, um, soon after he and his dad got off Air Force Two in China, Hunter Biden became a private equity guru and assisted with a Chinese private equity firm linked to the Chinese Central Bank. You might ask what his background was with Pacific Rim Investments or the Chinese Central Bank. Nothing. <coughs> with his dubious track record, inquiring minds might question why any art gallery would want to sell Hunter Biden's art. Well, this particular art gallery had its COVID relief loan more than doubled by the Biden administration. In a survey of more than 100 art galleries in New York's 10th Congressional District, this particular art gallery received by far the largest SBA disaster loan. And as an aside, Mr. Attorney General, the member who represents the 10th Congressional District is none other than Chairman Nadler. Mr. Attorney General, who buys Hunter Biden's art? Who benefits? What benefits do they receive from the Biden administration? The American people want to know. I have sent a letter to the Department of Justice before your tenure asking them to appoint a special counsel to investigate Hunter Biden. I have uh, today sent a letter to you, and I am asking you uh, now, will you appoint a special counsel to investigate Hunter Biden? I'm not, uh, for the same reason that I'm not uh, able to respond to questions about investigations of the former president or of anyone else, I'm not unable, able to discuss uh, any investigations pending or otherwise with respect to any uh, citizen of the United States. Mr. Mr. Uh, Attorney General, I worked for the Department of Justice for 15 years. You are allowed to tell us whether you will appoint a special counsel. You may not tell us whether you are uh, investigating or not investigating a particular matter, but you are allowed to tell us whether you will appoint a special counsel. And that's my question. Well, I, apparently I just received the letter today from you and uh, we'll be taking it under advisement, but I, I wasn't aware that you had sent me a letter. Okay, I appreciate it. Um, Mr. Chairman, I yield back, but I would like to first place into the record two articles. Uh, one from Vox, why Obama's former ethics czar is highly critical of Hunter Biden's lucrative art sales. And the second from the New York Post, Art Galley repping Hunter Biden received 500,000 federal COVID loan records show. Without objection. The gentleman yields back. 
I yield back, yes. Gentleman yields back. Mr. Swalwell. General Garland, uh, you may not get these four hours back, but you may get some art history credit uh, for today. Um, 